welcome to another review of Open Level. And today is September 16, year 2023. The year is going to an end. If God tarry, we'll see the end of it in Jesus' name. So we are discussing today the Most High Part 1, the Most High Part 1. Please, let's pray. Most High God, we are grateful to you. We thank you for this day, and we are grateful for everything you've done for us. We are asking God, as we go through this, your word, we pray, Father, that you will expose yourself to us and please rule in all our fears. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, God is the Most High. Psalm 91 verse 1, Psalm 91 verse 1, is a scripture most people know. And um, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, from this scripture, who is the Most High? Who is the most high and that's what we'll be considering for some days now so our bible reading is from book of psalm 47 verse 1 to 9 psalm 47 verse 1 to 9 oh clap your hands all ye people shout unto god with a voice of triumph for the lord most high is terrible now everything after this particular verse is now telling you who is that god most high okay he is a great king over all the head he shall subdue the people under his under horse and the nation under our feet. He shall choose our inheritance for us, the excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. God is gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our king. Sing praises, for our God is the king of all heads. Sing your praises with understanding. God reigneth over the heathen. God seated upon the throne of his holiness. The princes of the people are gathered together, even the people of God of Abraham, and the shield of the earth belong unto God. He is greatly exalted, most high. Now, when you're talking about the most high, you are talking about the one that is highest. The one, there are people that are high, they are high and mighty, you know, but the one that is most high, the, the, the one that, the, that has the most peak, the most realm, the peak of the realm you could ever talk about, he is God, he is God, he is God. So if we have been given a name that is higher than every other name, according to Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. And at the mention of the name of Jesus, you no know, one thing that happened is that realms were mentioned in that book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 downward. He said, Things in heaven, that is a realm. Things on earth, that is a realm. Things underneath the head, that is another realm. Every realm you could mention, you will see that fall in these three categories that I've mentioned, but most high is still higher than all this realm. When the name of Jesus is shouted, every name, every name, no matter the realm where they find themselves, they suddenly go under because the most high is in charge. You know one thing about God is that he's far above principalities and power. That is the most high. That is the most high. Now, in the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11, I was referring to the other time. Now, not only that the name of Jesus has influence on earth, his, influences, his, his influence is everywhere. So most high influence, has influence in heaven, has influence on earth, has influence underneath the heart. So the fact that God is the most high, however, has some certain implication. Now, what are those implications? We'll be considering one of it today and the rest will be considered uh, for subsequent uh, discussion or subsequent days. Now, firstly, being most time means that he has last say over everything. He has last say over your life. No matter what anybody say, the Bible says we see that said and come to pass, book of lamentation. If God have not decreed, he has a last say. What your father, what your mother says is not the last. What God says is the last say. What the government say about you is not the last. What God says, you might have been condemned to the prison. You know, you, 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 you might have been a, a, a object of ridicule. That is not God's last thing for you. What God says is the last thing over every life, over every nation, over every group, over every individual. Now, one thing you must know is that 
when cases are being taken to court, you can be it can be taken to one and you are not satisfied, you will take it to another, you will appeal court, you are not satisfied, you will take it to Supreme Court and you keep on going like that and you are not satisfied. The president can say, okay, since the Supreme Court has, has made their judgment, let me give you a presidential pardon and things and things like that. But here is a God that there is no court that is above him. If he passes a judgment over your life, that is the end. And if he says you are justified, no man can condemn you. Now, Romans chapter 8, something in verse 3, verse 1 to 3, says something. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Now, if Christ says you are justified, no demon, no nation, no individual can say you are condemned. Now, in essence, what we are trying to I mean, the open heaven of today is making us to understand is that God has a final say over your life. And the thing that has been said to you that has made you to be down, Hear this, God has the final say. And the other thing you have heard that make your heart to be troubled, God has the final say. There was a man called Pharaoh in the land of Egypt. He was proving to the man called Moses and saying that, come, who is that God? But when God appeared and he proved himself to Moses, at the end of the day, I mean, proved himself to Pharaoh, at the end of the day, Pharaoh was not there to tell the story because he is the most high. One thing is that, that you must know as we wrap up is that, if there is someone to be feared, fear God. He is the most high. Matthew 10, 28, Matthew 10, 28, he said, you should fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear the one who is able to destroy both the soul uh, and the body in hell. So God is the most high. Imagine you riding on the shoulder of the most high. There is no flesh that can actually bring you down. If you are there, you have not given your life to Christ. You need Jesus in your life. The Most High can upturn whatever anybody has said against your life or whatever situation you may be passing through. Don't forget, He is the Most High. He has a final say over your life. I want us to pray to God and say, Father, please come into my life. And if you are there, you need Him to upturn whatever has been said against your life. Please talk to God and say, Most High, prove yourself in my life. Thank you, Father. Lord, we thank you for your word this day and we are grateful to you. We ask that you will prove yourself as most high over our lives. And we ask, oh God, grace to fear you even beyond flesh. We receive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The key point for today says, if you have any wisdom, you will fear most high and stay away from anything that can offend him. Take this word along this day and let God be your help. Thank you and God bless you. See you next time.